traz hoje. Oh! 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 Yeah! Going a like Ningo. Move out the way, please don't be a hero. Bling, blow, ooh, change on skateboard, please. Bling, blow, ooh. How you guys doing? It's been so long since I've been on here. I hope you guys liked my intro. Hope that wasn't a little too weird. It's kind of awkward, but you know, everybody dances by themselves. Um, anyways, the reason why I've been gone is because I got my wisdom teeth removed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip right here. I pulled my tongue. No, I, I don't have tongue anymore. <laughs> Somebody stole it. Yeah, as you can see, my cheeks are super swollen and I didn't want to hop on here with like little squirrel cheeks. So, hope you guys didn't miss me too much. <laughs> so you may know, I love art of many forms and I'm also really creative, you know, because I'm a piece of art making art. Um, and I just wanted to make a shirt to support my favorite artist. Shoutouts to you. It really does come to show art comes in many shapes and forms. Also, um, everybody can make art. Homemade things are always the best, in my opinion. And you also save money that way. Well, sometimes. But um, I hope this comes in handy for you someday. Without further ado, let's get started. So, um, this is the shirt I decorated. Yep. And I'll um, give his link in the description so you can check him out because he's an amazing artist. And this is his logo the lemon and I'm gonna be wearing this as you can see there's still cardboard in here because um, it hasn't dried yet but I hope you guys enjoy the first thing you will need are some paint brushes some fabric medium you can get at craft stores your choice of acrylic paint any plain shirt or fabric, and a palette, but I couldn't find mine, so we have to improvise. Some water. A napkin to clean up any messes, and a template, but I'm gonna freehand mine. And a cardboard to put under. First step, Insert the cardboard and make sure your fabric lays out flat on top of the cardboard. Make sure you paint only on top of the cardboard so the picture doesn't look distorted that you're painting. Now I'm flattening out the fabric on top of the cardboard. All right, first things first, just choose a color that you desire. I'm mixing two yellows to get a yellow that I want. Yeah, make sure you shake the paint first because I was having a little trouble here. Shake, shake, shake. Now we mix one part fabric medium and one part paint. I just eyeballed it. Then we mix it up. It's pretty easy and self-explanatory. Now we start painting. It's just like how you regularly would paint, but on fabric. So it's a little bit more tedious since the fabric does move. I went ahead and just drew the outline and then colored in the inside, but you can do whatever you want because I'm pretty sure you're not going to be painting a lemon, but if you are, that's cool too. And here's another minute of me painting. Alright, as you can see, that's a lemon shape, and it's almost done. I'm just going over the edges. 
After this, you can either switch brushes for a different color or clean your brush. And then after I clean it, um, I would wipe it on the napkin to get off the excess water. Now we're repeating the same steps, one part green and uh, one part fabric medium, eyeballing it again. Yep, remember to shake. <laughs> Now we're going to grab a paintbrush and mix it up. To darken the color, you, you put the opposite color on the color wheel, not black. And to lighten the color, you would put uh, white. And a little does go a long way. So um, for all the green, I only put one dot of red. And as you can see, it darkened it up quite a bit. And again, just mix to your desire. From here, it's pretty self-explanatory, it's just whatever paint you choose, and fabric medium, and then mix, paint, yeah, so whatever design you want, and it just go ahead and repeated that on the back, and I think that letters are a little bit more hard because they have to look more symmetrical. Um, usually, I'll paint over it two times just to ensure it stays on longer. Before getting more paint, I like to dry the bristles of the paintbrush so the paint comes out more vibrant. Here's the front of the shirt, the side of the shirt, and here's the back of the shirt. So as you can see, this was fairly simple to make. Um, I mean, you can do anything you want. Uh, for me, I just did uh, some letters. And I think letters are harder to draw than pictures because it's a little tedious. Um, but yeah, and uh, it shouldn't come off if you wash it. It's just, um, it just turns the acrylic paint into fabric paint. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and show me some love. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Also, please comment down below what you would like to see next. Um, I can do many things, so I can show you like a tutorial, something funny. Just let me know what you guys like, and I also know how to do screen prints on shirts, um, which is uh, less of a freehand thing, so let me know if you want to see that. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Please don't be a hero. Bling blow. Ooh, change on skateboard P. Ooh.